of Up Close with Colin Thompson is sponsored by Dennis Wainwright and family. And welcome back to our pre-Bermuda Day Half Marathon special. Joining me now is defending men's champion, Lamont Marshall. Lamont, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, we're, we're back, we're back, you know, we're back, ready for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, you know, last year we didn't have the race, big disappointment there, but this year, you know, it, it's, it's on, you know, and, and you're among the field, you're gonna be defending your title. You know, how do how, how you feel about that? Ah, uh, it's good to, to have the race. Um, definite shout out to the, the Derby committee, uh, Dr. Tucker and her team for, for pushing forward because um, as close as maybe last month, uh, mid-April, when we pretty much went back into lockdown, I said, well, if you're going back into lockdown six, eight weeks before the race, there's no way they're going to have it. But they kept pushing forward. So um, I never stopped training, though, just with that hope and that glimpse of, okay, well, until it's made official, continue to train and do everything. And that's one of the um, the uh, restriction um, guidelines that you actually could exercise um, for an hour a day or whatever. So that was that I wasn't really hindered too much from that. But um, definitely the one of the stranger um, um, periods for um, racing and competing for everyone because um, I one of my best um, things about me it was my consistency that every year train compete train compete so i never took any gaps no breaks i really um never picked up any you know um, unforeseen injuries because i didn't read only last one was maybe the steeple uh, my right achilles from doing um jumping constantly on um my right achilles i never really alternated um lead legs so i stopped that i think in 2017 but ever since then it's just been consistency so, you know, in the early part of 2020, when it hit her, um, you know, I trained for maybe two or three months after we went to the initial shelter in place. I stopped, kicked back over a little bit, stopped again or cut back. So I, this is the, the, um, the least active I've been in my entire career. Um, but having said that, um, I know that everyone else has had the same sort of preparation going into it. Um, I'm ready, I've definitely done um, fitness, um, time trials, workouts, and stuff like that. So it's it's, it's good um, to, to see what happens um, next week. So you continued right right along, right along through. So you you should be hitting the ground running. Definitely, yeah, yeah. I mean, you 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 never really stop um, training um, for even my. I'll say on a regular pre-COVID season, my break is maybe four to six weeks. So I've never taken you know, months off at a time. Like, you know, you, you have to recharge, you know, mentally, physically and all like that. But I, I've never been, um, in my adulthood, now, I think six weeks is the most that I've ever taken off. So I've, I've always been active in some way, shape or form. So now we've got, you know, yourself, we've got uh, six times winner, Chris, Chris Eswanek, he's, he's among the field, Sammy DeGraff, um, some, some of the other contenders. You know, what, what are your general thoughts on, on, on the field, the men's field this year? I always, like I said, my first competitor is always myself. If I'm getting myself fit, injury free, stay healthy and all like that. But yeah, I definitely uh, anticipate um, those guys to um, be in the in the mix at some um, point of the race. And um, definitely with no one, my advantage was always that I was frequently going overseas and doing some really quality races. So the last year I wanted, let's say 2019, uh, I would have had quality indoor races in Boston. I think I broke the national record in the 5K. Then I came outdoors um, and did uh, uh, the 15K record, which was, the, it was a Gate River uh, 15K in Jacksonville, Florida, which is on the US Track and Field Road Racing Championship Series. So I was competing against, you know, some of the best in the US coming into May 24. So this year, definitely, I don't have that. So anyone, you know, is, is, is definitely um, for me just training period on my own out through his races, you know, it, it's definitely brings the, the field a lot closer, I would anticipate. And, and of course, what, what, are you, what are your thoughts on the course, this year's race course? Um, I ex anticipate the, the, um, the weather that you feel now, it's, it's, it's slowly but surely warming up. Um, half an hour is not gonna make, that big of a difference. Um, it's 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 going to be warm. Period. Um, 
and I train a lot um, in the mornings now. Like, so if I'm out, let's say five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, it's humid. So in terms of the conditions, um, it's gonna be hot. In terms of the course, I think this will make what my third time coming out of the um, the east. Um, it's it's both are the east and west are challenging, just at different spots. Like the east, yeah, you get to warm up and settle in uh, the first three miles, but then you know from pretty much Blue Hill Hill um, right up to Cottage Hill is challenging, which is just over two miles. You know, you come into that, like we all know that flats area marks, give or take your, your second half. So second half, you're taking your flats and obviously um, coming up to, to middle road. So um, the course is definitely challenging, just different from summers. But with the heat, humidity and um, the, those hills, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be tough, especially everyone's more or less race rusty. Yeah, I, I, I anticipate um, uh, the entire field at some point being rusty. And, and you know you're you're on the verge of of joining a, a very exclusive group of company to have won uh, potentially three three in a row um, and and four four overall. Um, what 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 do you think about that? Is is that something that that you know you're using as a as a motivator? Yeah, I mean every every year you don't you don't count collectively. It's just every year you take as a own. So going into this year, I just, you know, it's, it's the same sort of mindset to just, okay, well, do what you gotta do on the day and execute it. Not thinking about, okay, well, four or three in a row and all like that, it's, it's, especially this year, like I said, I mean, you take, um, what would it be? My last race, I think was um, February, 2020. Um, so, like I said, I haven't lined up in a group of guys, you know, shoulder to shoulder, and, and even though the top group's just 25, you know, that's that's still, um, you know, a good bit of guys. To get that mindset that you're back in a race, you're back in that sort of mentality like that, that, that competitiveness, because you can do all the time trials by yourself. Mentally, you always push yourself harder if you have a target. You have that sort of, um, you know, the... the um, the prestige that's associated with May 24. So like I said, it's, it's a really good thing for it to actually be happening and, and, and to go forward this year. And, and, you know, in terms of all the races you've run, you know, what is it about this race that stands out for you? Um, well, to be honest, the crowds, that's, it's, it's, it's hard to ask a crowd. Like as in, I understand the, the health guidelines, socially distanced, but as an athlete, you don't want to see that. I mean, you want to see these huge crowds that's, you know, like where it's just a sea of people going through. Like me personally, um, everyone has a different area where they're from and where they're familiar with. So for me, that will be coming off of uh, Middlewood, of course, um, Kildare and, and Hermitage Road. That's, you know, that's where I'm from. I've been Elliot, born and raised Loyal Hill. So I'm coming off of there. You know, you, you want to see those crowds. So that's the, 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 um, the one of the biggest things like that you see on the day. Obviously the history of it, um, if you're talking about the early 1900s, I mean, it's uh, the Olympics is what, 10 or 15 years older than it? It's not too many races that have the history of May 24th. I would say, I would go a step further and say that it's the oldest half marathon in the world, but it may not have started off as a half marathon. We know that it might've, you know, evolved to that, but, it's you you go around worldwide on all the world athletics um label world races none of them will say they're being run 100 what is he 150 now 160 this none of them has been run over 100 times so that's like in terms of the the prestige the culture it's always on our day bermuda day it's always been not even it's not 100 percent bermudian in terms of uh the athletes but it's it's um six month residents so they have some sort of tie so it's always been sort of you know bermuda but it did start off with sort of um residents i guess challenging the the, or the sailors that was in and out challenging the best locals so it's it's just it's it's not it's no other race that can compare to it like i mean especially not only roads, like you won't get the same crowds, the prestige, the same media coverage. Like I wouldn't be doing an interview like this going into like, you know, uh, any other, I don't want to call out no name just so it, you know, sounds like small, but it don't matter. Like they all come not second to May 24th, a distant second. You know, it's, it's just nothing like it. And then obviously, you know, based on all that, it must be a huge honor for the athlete 
you know, to be out there on, on the big day, taking part in, in something so meaningful to our, to our culture, to, to our island. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all your friends, family and colleagues, they congregate together April, May, are you running? So like, it's, like I said, there's no other event that that even compares to. I mean, I've broken several national records represented Bermuda on, on, you know, on the road, cross country and track. Um, it's, not, it's no sort of um, vibe that you would present like, like, like you would get from, from May 24th. And, and just looking at, you know, your victories to date, anyone in particular, you know, stand out most? Your first, definitely, because um, that was all the nerves. Um, if, if you've never won May 24th, that's it. Like it's, it's um, you can do anything you want overseas and all the other races. So I would definitely remember um, 2016 as, as uh, my most memorable. The other ones, yeah, they was important. And la- on the last time getting three, you know, it's good. Cool. But by always for me, it would be my first. So what was it like, you know, take us back. What was it like to, to make that breakthrough and join your brother? Your brother was wanted as well. Um, and that was, uh, that solidified us as, as, you know, two brothers to, to um, win both men at, at, at different times. The only two, um, I believe the, the Virgil twins, um, both never won. Um, so for that, it was more or less like coming into 2016, it was definite pressure. You know, I had put in the training and, and um, it was just, everything was okay, well, this is it. Like you have to, um, don't, don't make the same mistakes. I'm going out too fast, out of forgetting a water stop or anything like that. You was thinking if this is your year, you might not get another chance. You, you don't know that like you, in terms of um, going into the race. So you're just, okay, did I get enough rest? What was my pre-race meal? What I eat the, the night before, you know, all those things are going in, in your mind. So for me, 2016, was a hundred percent nerves. That was just 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 a pressure cooker, but you know that, and that's why I remember sort of a lot of little things going into it because I, I was just so nervous that year. Awesome, awesome. Just for me, I, I, I've never done the race, but but it, you know I, I I covered it many times. Right, you know right. for the press, and it's it, it's just such a wonderful occasion. Uh, who knows? Maybe there's hope for me yet. Hey, hey, hey um, still got time. But, but you know, I me personally, I would be excited just to to finish <laughs> 13.1 miles, but to win it, I mean, that just must be, or even just get on the podium, that, that must be out of this world. It's a bucket list item for, for not only many athletes, like you said, just regular guys who just say, hey, I want to finish May 24th, Jesse once. And, and, and as I was just going to wrap up now, my, my co-producers just indicated that we're, we're running out of time. So Le- Lamont, I, I just want to thank you uh, for joining us and wish you all the best of luck in the upcoming race, your title defense. <laughs> yes. And, and wish you and, and all the runners the, the best of luck on the day. Yes. And finally, before I go, I just want to say thank you to um, co-producer Crimson Multimedia, Lamont Woods, and also special shout out to our sponsors. And last but not least, I want to thank you for tuning in and look forward to seeing you again real soon. Take care.